In the 74th minute, Alejandro Zendejas is involved in a huge scuffle with Edson Alvarez after a coming together on the field. While the referee tried at first to break up the fracas, he steps back and lets it play out. Ultimately, just a yellow card is shown to both individuals, which is kind as both could have seen worse. In all honesty, after a match with little bite, it's nice to see Zendejas bring a bit of venom to the U.S. squad. Nobody to this point had looked terribly interested. While there's nothing tangible riding on this match, it will be a chance for players to show the new head coach how they fare in a hostile environment against a bitter rival. The U.S. is without a number of key players, including Christian Pulisic and Weston McKenney, who were sent home early, while some others are out injured. So this match will be about who can fill those shoes. Mexico, meanwhile, are in a similar boat, without many of their most potent forwards due to injury. El Tri will be primed to put to rest their recent winless streak against the United States, which has seen them lose their grip on CONCACAF supremacy. A truly pitiful performance by the United States, who were beaten soundly in Mexico on a pair of goals. A 90 minutes lacking any kind of creativity, grit, or desire for the USMNT, proving that depth is still a significant issue for this national team pool. It's a minimally damaging result in the grand scheme of things, but makes it clear how much Mauricio Pochettino has his work cut out for him in a number of places. A long way to go before the U.S. can afford to play without its best players.